so in last lecture we have completed about the regular expression and decorators now in this lecture i will tell you about the modules and packages so basically why we are learning modules and packages because in django uh, there are many modules and packages we need to work on that okay and today's another topic is name and main that is extra topic advanced topic in python and uh, these two are last topics after that we uh, have completing the python completely uh, both basic and advanced then from next day i will go with the django actually uh, django framework okay so that is very important actually so all the technologies html css javascript bootstrap and uh, python you have learned it so far in this course that thing will be applied now in django framework okay so that part is very large actually it will take uh, hardly uh, i mean uh, 15 to 20 days and uh, most of the things are very important in that case so let me tell you about the modules and packages so you have seen python import statement in regular expression lecture but have probably wondered how do they work and how do we create our own modules okay so in the regular expression means last lecture uh, i have imported one regular expression re or that is previewed modules i have uh, imported so there are many modules which are previewed we need to import uh, in python or django framework but apart from that you can also build your own modules and then you will import that in your code file so this will we will learn today okay so let me uh, tell you this about uh, how to write code and how to write uh, how to create modules okay for that uh, i will go to the pycharm so let me open the pycharm so here we are in pycharm and uh, here you can see we have some files notes.py we have and uh, we have one sample.txt file okay so let me create a, another file that is uh, my module dot I, I i am going to create my new file my module dot py this is new file okay and this is separate and inside that i want to write some code so let me write uh, one uh, function here uh, okay so function is this function in module so this function i have uh, i need to write here okay and inside that you can write anything uh, i am writing one print and the print is i am inside the module.py file i am inside the module.py file so this will tell you you are inside the module.py file this uh, function and this is completed now we have one notes.py okay let me delete this and here in notes.py i want to actually import my module.py okay that is another module so here what i will use i will use import not in this uh, i need i will use import and in import i will use my module 
okay so i am importing the my module and uh, here i will write uh, my module dot my uh, module my module i already imported and now i am using the my module method so that i can access the content from the my module dot py now i will write the func in my module okay so now let me save this and uh, let me save this file also and uh, we can see the result here when i run the file nodes.py it is printing i am inside the module.py but that statement i have not written inside that nodes.py that print statement but it is printing that i am inside the module.py that is in my module so basically what i am doing here i am importing the my module uh, python file inside another file that is main file okay so this is working like importing any module and you can also uh, import uh, my module as uh, an another name that is mm okay i am giving here my module i am importing my module as a mm so here you can give mm dot python Sir. Yes, yes. So, mm dot function in module. So this also will work like uh, previous. Okay, because I am importing my module by the name mm, and now this is importing the things. you can see this is also printing the same so this way you can import my module another statement you can write uh, like uh, from my module from my module i am importing the function directly okay so this function i am uh, importing and uh, let me call this function my module now we can call this and it is also doing the same so this way also you can import my module from my module you can import the function directly and you can call that function inside that file okay and another statement you can also use uh, what uh, you you when you will not uh, say i am importing this or that you can use the star now this is saying that from my module you are importing everything star means from my module you are importing everything that is available in the my module now you can call any function here okay according to that so i am calling the my module and this will also print the same result so this is the concept of uh, creating any user defined module and importing that module in the main python file okay this is very uh, small topic so now we are moving toward the name and main topic name and main so let me tell you about this so this is the last topic of python programming name and main so an often confusing part of python is mysterious line of code so many times you have seen many line of code uh, if name equal to equal to main so these types of syntax actually are very 
like you are afraid afraiding by seeing that now we are we will talk about that this talk, this syntax if name this main sometimes when you are importing uh, from a module you would like to know whether a module's function is being used as an import or if you are using the original .py file of that module okay so sometimes you need to take care of that also uh, whether you are importing any uh, function of that module or uh, you want to import the whole module.py file that also you need to take care so let's explore this some more uh, but make sure to check out the full explanatory text file that is in this parts folder and i will also uh, tell introduce you about that file okay so let me go into the uh, that uh, python dot level two, and inside that we have that file name and main. Inside the name and main we have one dot py and two dot py. Okay, these two files we have. So we have basically one dot py and two dot py. So in inside one dot py we can see we have function. Okay, inside the function we have function rain in one dot py. So basically we will run that function in uh, we are running that function we are creating that function in 1.py and we are printing some top level print inside of 1.py and here we are defining if name equal to equal to main this condition it will print 1.py is being run directly else 1.py is being imported into another module okay if this condition met then this statement will uh, run and if this is not met false then this is when will run let me see the code here so basically in 2.py we are importing the one okay but we need to see we are importing the whole 1.py or only some part of that so top level in 2.py this print one dot fun so basically here we are importing one and we are calling the function if name equal to main then 2.py is being run directly and 2.py is being imported into another module and here we are importing to not <coughs> we are only importing the one so let me tell you by running this So when you, when we uh, run this one dot py, so actually when we run this one dot py, so it will directly print one dot py is directly being directly run. But when we run this uh, two dot py, it will print that two thing. First, it will print this uh, this top level print inside of one dot py. First, this this will run because we are importing the one and second thing it also meet this condition name equal to main then 2.py is also being run directly so these 2.py when you run it will print the two prints okay so basically we are importing the one file and the functionality of one file the function of one file in the 2.py and if there is name equal to main condition is also available then that content and that uh, content of that uh, 2.py also will execute it so this is the concept of importing modules uh, from another uh, created modules importing function from another created modules and uh, i want you need to do some homework regarding to that syntax name equal to main so we have so many other syntax also available like that but first you need to learn that name equal to main okay so this is all about uh, the python programming so we also have completed the python programming in the next lecture we will go for django programming okay